presented by OJ Quinn, and my life count is lucky today. But we got mail, and this Super Mario Galaxy 2. Mario! There's a mysterious letter for you! Oh, well, I'm still. We're about to get us. <laughs> well, so much for the luckiness. I guess I'm. I guess I'm full of lives today instead of being lucky. But hello, everybody. It's Ultimate Clan, and welcome to Super Mario Galaxy 2, everybody. And in the last episode, we rocked 2. We rocked the rest of 2. It just. The entire world, too. By against Bowser on our first battle against him. Amazing. It was astounding. It was awesome. And I only kick his A. But even the defeated Bowser for the first time in our first battle against him. It still goes in underway. And with Peach still captured. And also in this episode, after rocking World 2 or 1, just like while I'm talking right in the show and the and pretty much the previously for my last episode, just listen, just listen to this music of how much in advance, and just listen to Kaviyoshi and stuff. Like you hear them extra, but at the same time it's just more. There's more gesture in the music now than it was like when we first started in this planet in uh, World One. And now look at and now listen to the music even without Yoshi after rocking both worlds. See, it's more better now than it was before. But anyways, in this episode, we're gonna actually be starting with... ...with... ...Clarical Galaxy! Woohoo! Galaxy, yeah! Cloudy! Head in the clouds, as if that's ever very relevant. And, as you can see, on the scene of Cloudy Core Galaxy of our first star, that when it comes to the name of the galaxy, it's very obvious that the gimmick is basically cloud. It's basically cloud platforms and stuff. And the cloud mushroom in order to turn Mario into Cloud Mario! Yay! More speed running tactics to break the game with! <laughs> okay, now when it comes to Cloudy Corp Galaxy, start up here. There's a one of the like under this branch thing that is the shape of Dory from Super Mario 64. Like, no, it actually looks like Dory and stuff. And anyways, in order, there's also a hidden star of this galaxy. In order to get the hidden star of this galaxy, you need 30 coins or more, so start thinking about the money now. And can I just get up? Okay, fine, not flip it. Try to be lazy here, but I guess you just trust right out of me. But I mean, oh, it's so good to have this cloud thing once again because we get to break S. And by S, I meant this entire game. Um, along with that cloud reload, there is your live stream that I need to actually use a cloud for because I'm not gonna ground pound it. Because once again, if you actually ground pound a cloud, it just instantly and you pretty much screw yourself. If you're sitting on it. Okay. Let's see here. There's a Goomba if you wanna risk your life getting an extra coin, but whereas going on this big happening coin. We'll give you a pack of line of coins and stuff. And oh no, if we have Oh! Oh I almost No! I sacrificed my life for a coin that I did not even know! No! Even though I got 23 lives to sacrifice with, I'm not pretty much When it comes to that the lucky 16 lives that just got nowhere off of my lucky seven lives. Like, I'm not even gonna get game over in this episode. And when it comes to me actually just just practicing both galaxies before this episode. I mean, but I mean, practicing the galaxies that we're gonna do this episode, like just now. I'm pretty much straight. I'm pretty much set up. I'm not set up in particular. I'm just set up to rock and roll this episode. So let's do this. Let's do this with awesome confidence and contentment. Okay, let's do this again, and with our awesome contentment, we are not gonna get a, lose another life this time. Or else I'll freak out. All you just have to do is just keep on destroying enemies and stuff, and oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a good thing that those line of... Who are you too, Goomba? 
Grandpa Pimple Just go away, stupid spiny blue jay. And I don't even worry about life, so I'm not aiming for that one up. I'm being lazy like that. Oh, balls! Do this directly so we can continue on because I really want them line of coins. Because you get really because once again you're gonna need like 30 coins or more for the bonus star this galaxy. And let me just generally foot pound that paragoomba. By foot pound I just meant like you know homing ground pound. And on this part I actually got these drums making some good. Type of music that I cannot know, these type of instruments that I have no idea of. Oh my gosh, I bet you someone's actually going to have sound. I think it's their bass instruments. And it's who cares, I just want money. I think I just really want money in the No, 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 I'm two coins, I'm two bucks. Thank you. And if you actually ground on the top of this sim here, there's a pack of sits which I think you, but I don't. And here's the reason why you actually stop it or more. After getting a checkpoint. Don't miss it, Clayton. Jeez. This dude. I'm so hungry! He gave me 30 coins! This is so good! How do you do? How do I Yes! <laughs> uh, find some tasty, tasty clothes you can come on by. I'm only too short. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're two coins short, so we actually need to find some. Um, but when it comes to this planet, you actually, like, pretty much won't leave the hungry coin luma, like, the hungry coin luma behind if you actually, like, put it on this planet. You actually just find more coins in this part right here. Obviously. Like, there's a coin right there, there's a coin there, and I'm missing all types of coins I just freaking want. And, wow, I just got a coin inconspicuously. Yay, so that's two coins right there, making it so you can actually talk to me. I'm so hungry, give me three coins. Nah, 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 nah. And once again, for me and Emil's, aka Tony Conway's sake, Carrie Breaking Suicidal Beast! Be sitting you after that. <laughs> and the bonus planet of this galaxy is born. In order to pretty much go through, in order to pretty much like get our hidden star of this galaxy. But, but in order to make sure that this bonus planet of this galaxy won't be a hell in the basket, you want Cloud Mario for this one. You just really want Cloud Mario. I think there's even a Cloud Mushroom. Right here, so you're about Don't fall in. Yeah, because if you actually fall on there, it's actually poison. Like, it's actually, there's a uh, poison water down there, and if you actually fall on it, it's basically basically. It's basically a pit. Now, on this bonus plan of the galaxy, you want to collect these silver coins and stuff. But if you actually, but for every silver star that you can get, not silver coin. I have no idea where silver coins come from. Um, if you actually get, for each silver star, you usually get a Shadow Mario. I just screwed myself. And what even hits you while you're instantly dying by poison water? Matter water. That's beasts. Jeez. So yeah, that's how I rock this. If you actually get... How did you fell in? Well I, well, I wasn't walking. Well, if you actually get all five silver stars of this one of the galaxy, they will morph into the power, the hidden stars galaxy. So that's how the rock this falls part of the galaxy. But like for every silver star you get, um, a mar um, a mar will actually come in and try to like copy your moves and stuff, try to kill you. And why am I framing? Why am I lagging so much frames? 
We're not lagging so much frames, I'm just lagging just success. Like I can't see, yo! Oh, oh, oh no! Yeah, I also forgot if you also lose a Mario while on a cloud platform. Doomed. Shite. For the explanation of this bonus plan that I will see, I will see you guys at my correct attempt if I continue to keep the capture card is... Just full of ass already. I even got the metal. I'm metal. Okay, I'm just, I'm just feeling too much too slow here. All that there's your star right there, but as you can see, I'm out of clouds, and if I make one stupid move, I'm gonna kill myself. Oh my gosh, okay. Captain Guard, I don't like you, they don't like me, I know, I don't like this, but let's make that leap! The three points! And get the star, and there you go! And... Yeah, don't listen to uh, hopefully mom's voice in there or else I need to cut that one out. Oh my god! And yeah, that's a hidden star! Uh the court galaxy! Some pawn! More like the poison pawn! The poison pawn! Poison! And after rocking that one star of that galaxy, it unlocks one. I go until the next episode. Where we got a hungry mouth to feed here. We got a new friend here. A friend who was something special for me to check it out. Just head down that pipe over there. Okay, so that means we got new content in Mario Starship. And Starship, jeez. In this game, jeez. If I can actually top of his head. And actually go to his right ear. And to this pipe. You got this dude! Luma Lee Luma Bop! Welcome to the Luma Shop! <laughs> I was trying to be a rock star for a second. <laughs> Can I spin a cute cute for 30 star coins? Star bits! Star bots! Star fox! Oh, I'm so full! I'm wait, here I go! Transform! Yeah, for so for a payment of 30 star bits. This shop, this Luma shop, Hungry Luma, will actually turn into a die, and you can actually either star bit one, one, three, which I actually have, crazy, and a five, aka just five one-up mushrooms. And the best part of all is that you can just pay 30 star bits every single time, all and over again. And it's always infinitely respawn. Yeah, this is basically a big reason of why this is a one game because you can always get one ups off of this. Like you can always get one ups off if you keep if you continue to pay 30 star bits if you're rich or star bits like I am. And if that happens, that means you can actually have a whole lot of lives on that. That's so crazy. That's crazy, yo. So what comes to that? That means I'm actually and when I'm to be being so rich or star bits like I didn't. Like, I got a 10,000 star bits, I don't have to even worry about game over at this P because I can just use the pay for it. Along with playing for the hunts, that's awesome. And we'll see you guys both at at Cloud Galaxy for the real deal mission, star mission of this galaxy. What actually is that they're going and stuff, and what you really need to do in this plan of galaxy is that you need to actually bust out your clouds and stuff. Spins go all the way up there while dodging these just push on the cloud. After that, there's your actual, there's your spinning thing. I mean, there's your bonus spot. Thing. And on this bonus side, you just need to destroy all these lumas as fast as you can. And all pretty much like get um three one ups out of this if you actually destroy all these lumas before time. And that, if you do this, that means you get three one ups. Which I'm at, but I don't care because I'm so with the lives already. I mean, we gotta get with this dude because he'll be a pinch to get up there. And oh wow. And you can actually go bottom of this of this part of the planet of this galaxy. 
And if you actually do that, there's one up on at the bottom there, and there's a recharge on clouds. Now, when it comes to this, I actually don't even need. Oh my gosh, I don't think I can actually make it there. Nope, I might actually like screw myself if I try that. Okay. Ow! 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 And oh crap! Curse you kept. Well, actually, it's in my. It wasn't its fault and stuff. Because what I was trying to show you and stuff after getting that, after showing that one up, is actually a little speed running tactic without the use of the launch star. Actually, I was actually trying to show that, so I think I should have actually. So I think it was a good thing to actually get suicide. Also, for a speed running tactic, you actually need a whole two clouds. And I actually need a whole climate up here for these, these douches. And you just need to make very hardcore long jumps. And you make it speed running tactic! And actually do it correctly, you're gonna get to this next part about launch star. Which I don't think it's an ult tactic at all, considering that you needed to go faster. And I don't know what's actually faster but doing the ultimate speed running tactic. But who cares? And on um, this part, you need to watch out for bikes in the air and stuff while using your cloud places as cloud mary. And wow, I'm just because there's actually something somewhere this planet and stuff that I just want to show actually cool and actually make actually make your run this planet of this galaxy a whole lot easier with that checkpoint. I'm trying to show something that I can't find. And also, of course, of course, of course, of course. Get to the next plan already. All bit. Jeez. Okay, this is. And okay, now when it comes to this, if you actually use your class to get to this cloud and then there's a pack, there's a group runs on this platform. Just hop of that cloud in order to get there with your clouds. If you actually do that, the three one ups are yours. Yeah, very one up happy. That's not. Can get a more free, Randy. Even though this. Well, God, was this game is all me. And also, when I said this of the galaxy for the star, there was a cuddle over there, but as you can see, I screwed up. And I'm holding one cloud with me. Oh, shite. I need a little. And when it comes to this next. And when it comes to this part of the so you need to be extra careful or else you get squashed. What happened to me? Oh, gosh. But anyway, when it comes to. But anyway, if you actually met the right of ashes continuously getting three one ups from that, from that platform. Even if you actually like infinitely respawn and though you actually do like lose a life Like when it comes to really getting that those three one every time you're basically getting a two out of that so I mean this last plan of the threatening if you hey, do I seriously gotta do this two of my cloud I am almost right And even if I actually if I am in look right I actually may look too bright No mama me what? Clouds don't squish you like that, jeez. I oh, literally made work for something. And enough pressure. Yeah, Comet Metal! Thank you! Also, when it comes to this little space where the Comet Metal was, there's also your cloud, and there's actually some breathing room that gets squished in, so that's also... If you do actually make it before that whole thing closes and you almost get squished, that's also good. And over here, there's your star! All you just have to do is just make a couple of get there. Also, push yourself to get there, and, and my best! Okay, let's do this right, let's do this right, let's do it. Oh gosh, this close. Actually, just me. Fight! Fight! Don't... And there's your star! Shine, Donovan, so... Woohoo! Gosh, what's wrong? Okay, yep, that's a star, and there's a common metal with coins and bizarre. Give me your best. I'm sure do that. Uh, 
part of the same actually. Okay, so I'm doing Cloudy Court Galaxy this episode. We're not gonna episode yet as we are this other galaxy of World 3, aka Tall Trunk Galaxy. And our mission is the Bloodless bl Blimp Fruit. There is no hidden stars in this galaxy. There's no bonus or hidden stars in this galaxy. So, yeah, basically straight for the Floatus Blimp Blimp Fruit. And the gimmick of this galaxy, of Tall Tr Galaxy, is that Tall Tron Galaxy is a new galaxy that got Yoshi! So happy. Uh, and, uh, basically, and also Tall Tron Galaxy is basically a couple of deep is really, like, like, this first galaxy right here, you're actually gonna, like, basically, as you can see there, like, pretty much, Tron Galaxy actually got pss, mandatory of Star Wars, but I saw two of them, as I like, oh, screen one thing. Like, there's two, and, be your first planet of the galaxy always gonna be here in this tall tree, whereas the other of Tall Tron Galaxy and both so basically trunks and pretty much a piece of the tree. So, it's basically, as you can make, call it a Rudy level. And that wasn't funny, I, I'm just, oh my gosh. Also over here, this thing is called the Flotatious Blump. If Yoshi actually, like I was actually showing the first time I was talking about the, this galaxy, it'll just make Yoshi blue and fat. <laughs> Jeez, in like a couple of seconds from that fruit that one fruit supposed to be helpful for you, actually just made Yoshi fat. Like, what the hell, Miyamoto? That's so weird and ridiculous. And, and you can also attract the fruit to Yoshi with your tongue as well. And what it'll pretty much do is I'll make Yoshi, like, go all the way up as a balloon and stuff. And you can actually, like, get some height and go up, like, into, like, stuff. Or just get up here with the flotations on Yoshi, making him fat and making him like a balloon. So you can actually get to places up there and stuff, so that's how this flotation split fruit works. Um, if you actually press A, Yoshi's being like, doing bad with the flotation split fruit, Yoshi will pretty much hold the air, and it'll pretty much make you stay, like, it'll pretty much make you stay at your height, but it'll actually give you more handling of all to move around and stuff, so that's basically how that works. Treetop good. Hey, Earthbound. Okay, Mr. Saturn. Also, one thing I also forgot about the flotations group and about this galaxy is that about the flotations group, if you actually spin while Yoshi is activated with it, you can pretty much cancel out this effect. Right when it comes to what I was about to say about this galaxy, is that there's your bonus spot right here. And it's just full of these piranhas. Also, you bite, you die. Right? You die. No, I, you bite, you're supposed to die, not my. Not you bite, I die. Follow Tim's law. Follow Teddy Bishop's law. Follow NC Lesser's law, and I lost you. And, I, and if you actually get destroy all those products correctly, you actually get one of them. And three up. I mean, three one up. Jeez. Not tough like that today. And I'm running on three lives. I need to risk it. Yes, got two lives. Two pieces of my life. Jeez. Two pieces of my. Hey, let's see what he's saying. This tastes delicious. It does. You should might sit. Care of being of getting fed like this fruit tastes delicious. Like that flavor in it. He, he thinks. Okay. There's another one. Okay. And go even farther than this tall in this in this tree plot of this galaxy. There's your life up. I mean, there's your life showroom and our double up. Here. So if you actually go a little bit down, there's a one. Utterly missed! Shut! Screw me. Okay, let's get there. Cancel this. And spin your A! Spin your A. Now on this planet galaxy, on this planet galaxy, we've got a 2D forming thing. Gee, I can... I can not remember that. We got 2D platforming, I can say. Jeez. And on this planet with 2D platforming and stuff, uh, and also if you actually get the, um, if you actually get the happening coin right here, you actually get a chain of coins right here. And if you and if you get them all before it's too late, you get a one up. 
and I cannot remember how to say it. There's also a counter meta over there and stuff. Um, I, I'm just gonna say it on a 2D part of the world, I can say. Because I cannot remember how to pretty much say it, but I'll see. Like I said in the very first order of this LP, and I'll just blank out of my mind. It blanked out of my mind. Also, there's pipe over there, also, I did not know. And it got three dies with one up, so there is your chance to score a of three ups in this planet. Yeah! Look at Whippy! I'm just writing a blank of what this really called. I think we're on a, on a 2 time. I mean, we're on a 2D display dimension. Spot. Hey. I'm just gonna say we're actually on 2D platforming dimension right here. I cannot remember the word I said on the first episode, and I bet you some people. And I bet you I'm just gonna bust out, and I bet you the comment section is gonna go negative comments on my head. I cannot remember. What I do remember is that on this 2B and e flat on this top line is that we pretty much got like star pieces and stuff. These five star pieces. And you actually want to get them all in this planet of LD while using Yoshi in order to help you out because they'll pretty much form a launch star to the next planet. Which I'm actually doing very hot of, but I need to find them. These. Come on, I just Yoshi to get one. Okay, and hold your air also in order to get that. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, thank God. Spin there, and there's your next. When it comes to this planet, it's basically the last planet to the star of this galaxy right there. What do with is that you need to go all the way around the planet, making your head very dizzy. So that's actually a 2D process of the That's 2D. Or on a two space right here. And there's a blimp right here, and you actually need to get made up and around of there. You actually need to grab your other one, and not in the right time because you got that! Jeez, that's a great drop. That's a great drop. That's a great drop in our fundings. Let's make them higher! I beat dicks about it. Oh, Mia! Oh, Mama Mia again! Oh, Mama Mia! <laughs> I'm not gonna get up there. Nope. I'm just need it. I need another blimp fruit. I need more toilet paper. So just give me it. Oh. Let's keep on just getting these blimp fruits and dodge these and getting all the way up here and get your star with Yoshi. So happy. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. Five minutes away. Jeez. Can my auto recording get more? Jeez. We'll need some. I don't even restart that. Star, star, poo. And after Rocky. That's next! To cook. I'm not sure. It really left me behind. I had to hustle to get up here. Oh, look, Luigi! Oh my gosh, it's Luigi and it's the year. Hey, dude, what's up? Your honor. So, hey, guess what? I decided the power stars to. If you see me up there, come say hi. I can help you save the universe. So yeah, new content. This galaxy, the second one in this episode. Like, basically, looking to like set out in order to get like set into galaxies. You stuff in order to help you talk. And we'll pretty much just help you out. Just get more power stars and stuff, aka the bonus power stars. So yeah, that's how the Luigi rocks. But, but, however, there is part two into Luigi's awesome ability in order to help you out and stuff. And, yeah, this is actually the only time you actually, like, this is how you actually find Luigi, like, behind Mario's, like, he'll pretty much go out into places. But, any anyway, let's pretty much worry about Luigi later next episode. Anything can happen. Let's get up there! But, jeez! So I can do the next one. See, why is my friend sucking? I think it's not me, it's actually this numb shot. Okay. Okay. What? 
I think that's actually me. Oh no, it's not. It's not. What? Oh wow, it's actually not me, actually. I think it's this lump chunk that's acting up. Hold on. Okay, let's try it now. There you go. Ah, kind of rocked up a little. Okay, now on to our second mandatory mission of Tree Tree. I mean, of Tall Trunk Galaxy. This episode is Tall Trunk Big Slide. And yeah, there's a scenery of it. That big slide. That big slide to your mouth, yeah. Oh, let's take a big slide. I don't know how that even works exactly, and all sorts of stuff. Other than my recordings on my computer. Jeez. Unfortunately, we actually got Luigi. Unfortunately, this mission don't evolve. Yeah, unfortunately. Who's could be so happy. And actually, we're here. And this is what happen. Hey, we're looking for a star on here, huh? You want me to take over for a little while? Yeah. On star missions, like on pretty much star missions where you can actually find Luigi in the galaxy's said star missions, you can actually just talk to him. And you can also play as Luigi in this game. By switching with him. So yeah, you can actually play as Luigi and basically when it comes to the controls of Luigi, expect it's basically the same as any well, not any traditional 3D Mario platform. Only super only Super Mario 64 DS of his forming in 3D is that Luigi pretty much slides as you can see there. Even it may be like solid woody ground. But like Luigi just slides, and that can screw you up in many ways, especially in ice physics. Even though he can also ice skate. And, but however, Luigi's jumps go higher. Yeah, Luigi's jumps. He can actually jump in Mario actually, and his jumps go really, really high, as you can see here. And I mean, his triple jump is some gossip. I mean, look at that. Like, look how much hype that Luigi's triple jump, that's on Godsip. So yeah, when it comes to Luigi, as much as he slides and platforming, however, he can also jump massively high, especially with his triple jump. That's gotta be the highest that he can actually, like, jump on the game. So, that can be very useful in order pretty much, like, like, Luigi, I'm pretty much good with Luigi and stuff, and with Luigi, you bust out a whole lot of speed running tactics in this game, playing as Luigi continually. It's unbelievably awesome. Anyways, just swing from those vine things, get to the launch star, and get to this planet of the galaxy right here. The tall truck. Slide, never quit. Hit or bound once again. Jeez. And also, when playing as Luigi, that flag actually turns to an L of your checkpoint. <laughs> Shot right this. Not touch. Be brave. Jump in. Dude, we watch slide. Because you don't want to do slide. And also, with a traditional. Traditional. Triple jump. We slide! We gotta get hit by those stupid red things. Yeah, when it comes to. I have a tall trunk guy before I die. He got control. Seriously, die! This is a nightmare because of my cat in. Okay, forget about the traditional triple jump on the side. When it comes to the slide, you need to turn up. You actually need to like turn the nunchuck with the control stick chuck. You can actually do that. While pressing A to jump while sliding and stuff in order to dodge obstacles, you actually need to bust out all those controls while sliding. And moving around with the control stick and just like pressing A on the control stick while also sitting with your rear remote in order to touch all those platforms. But as you can see there, I got two quick deaths out of that. Shite. Dude. Rocking. Jeez, I guess I'm. I guess for this, I need to go straight forward. And because after successfully rocking the this tall trunk, right, this tall trunk slide. You, there's your star. If it, you, you'll you get the star if you actually do it correctly. Well, not correctly, just survive. Which I'm having nightmares of. And there's a one up right there. And much 
And pretty much secret hint for you is that you must Oh my god, these holes! These holes! Curse these pits! There's a one right there! Well, I'm set for kidding or surprising! <laughs> oh no! No! And I such delay on my stuff. Uh, so let's do this for right this time. Let's need to dodge these spinies in this part. You jump over these red spikes before they kill you in this part. And we actually repeatedly jump with Luigi or Mario, who can pretty much like go slow if you want to. But you cannot jump like you can actually like jump all that hardcore. Like you can't jump and spin hardcore while on the side open or else you pretty much like get out you pretty much like, fall down on a pit that you can actually just like you pretty much jump onto and oh my gosh seriously yes yeah yes 15 lives burnt later oh my gosh thanks a lot capture card every single star yours okay mr <laughs> We judge you very brave. Uh, let's talk to this douche. I mean, this dude. <laughs> he is so good. I need to spin around for the stock. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel so sorry for Luigi and myself for all that hell. Star! Freaking star, yo. Oh my gosh, that took me like an hour. Or this entire episode. And yeah, that's our, our last star for the episode, aka the last star for Tall Trunk Galaxy, aka Tall Trunk's Big Slide. And if we actually do this, and if we actually Galaxy as Luigi, a ghost will pretty much appear in Tall Trunk Galaxy. Luigi, uh, your actions from him. When you're playing as Mario, of course. And holy smokes, look at this, we got a new thing. We got a new thing. A prankster kind of has appeared. This won't be exciting. A uh, Prankster Comet has been spotted! Prankster Comets can transform a galaxy into a wildly different place. Come to think of it, if... Yeah, come to think of it, you might think Comet Metals, right? Collecting lot of the Comet Metals makes more appear. They can work on a star from every Comet. Go for it, Captain! Oh my gosh, a Comet Metal actually appeared in here. How did you bought back a I love those guys. He was talking to you about collect about copper metals. Don't give him a uh, listen. Shouldn't take long. Hey, bro, I'm all over the place these days. Explode. Next time you see me out there, talk to me and I'll leap me and leap me into action. Le le let me leap to action. Jeez. Okay, catch a little, bro. So yeah, we got help from Luigi in order to collect our last star of this episode, aka the last star of Tall, Tr of Tall Trunk Galaxy. I almost said Tree Trunk Galaxy. And which that gotta be either a galaxy or about to come up for a or just a galaxy from the first game, to, just to swat. But anyways, our uh, uh, Pracer Comet actually appeared. Like, based on our Comet Medals, Pracer Comet actually appeared on the galaxy that we just did, aka Cloud the Cl Core Galaxy. So, wow, there's a Pracer Comet in that one? So, how are we actually going to deal with the Pracer Comet? Like, what the hell, how are we going to deal with this Pracer Comet? Like, how, what does it does? what does it do, whatever. Find out in the next episode, uh, well, you can actually find out. Collect many comets arrive, okay. First in Galaxy, one comet somewhere, a card, fine. And the first time the page has submitted to my manual of how common metals and comments actually cool I don't want. Well, uh, all that about the praise of comment and the and the praise of comment that I was about to do on Cloud on Gladicore Galaxy along with exploring more of World 3 on the next episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. As we're about to do that next episode. Because if you like this episode, subscribe to my channel. Big it all button. Like this video and subscribe to my channel once again and like my other video i mean and watch my other videos if you like them too then hit like as well this is my ultimate play and i'll see you guys next time bye take care y'all